Uh, we'll be presenting uh, updated data from a phase two study of the combination of hyper CVAD uh, with sequential blenitumab in patients with newly diagnosed uh, Philadelphia chromosome negative B cell uh, ALL. Um, and the rationale for this study is essentially that we know that the outcomes, uh, uh, you know, most patients with ALL respond to therapy, but there's still a significant proportion uh, of patients relapse. Um, and blenitumab is a very effective drug in the relapsed refractory setting and to eliminate MRD. Um, so we thought that incorporating blenitumab into the frontline setting may lead to more durable uh, remissions, higher level of MRD uh, or uh, negativity, and ultimately uh, better outcomes. Uh, and so uh, the design of this study is essentially what we've tried to do also is to decrease the amount of chemotherapy given to patients um, and rely more on the blenitumab, which has, uh, generally speaking, a more uh, favorable toxicity profile than standard intensive chemotherapy. So we give four cycles of, blen of uh, hyper-CVAD uh, rather than eight, uh, which is typically given in the regimen. So four cycles of hyper-CVAD followed by four cycles of blenitumab consolidation. Uh, and then um, patients uh, receive uh, a, a kind of a POMP maintenance where we alternate POMP with blenitumab. And this is now given for about 18 months rather than three years. So overall, the goal is shortening the total duration of chemotherapy, shortening the amount of chemotherapy, and relying more on blenitumab to hopefully even achieve um, um, you know, better results and, and less toxicity. And so the data so far is very encouraging. Um, uh, all patients have responded um, and, and essentially almost everyone achieves MRD negativity uh, over the course of therapy. Uh, and so this translated to encouraging um, uh, relapse-free uh, and overall survival. So uh, with the updated data presented this year, uh, the two-year relapse-free survival rate is 71% uh, and the two-year overall survival rate is 80%. Uh, and importantly, we haven't seen any relapses in patients who don't have a, a poor risk baseline feature at diagnosis. So for example, uh, an, an MLL translocation, uh, complex cytogenetics or other poor risk cytogenetics. For patients who don't have one of those poor risk features, uh, again, none of them have relapsed and that's been very encouraging. And no patients have relapsed uh, after two years of therapy suggesting that, that these uh, are very durable uh, responses and hopefully uh, may actually uh, equate to cure as we have a longer follow-up.